Sandstorm, 15 seconds underway right now as the bots cross the half line. Again, three points apiece coming off the lower level, six points coming off of level two. Right now, the robots are either acting autonomously or they're being watched by camera. As we now turn into T minus 135 before launch, the human players have regained full vision and are operating the bots right now. As 6712 with their robotic arm reaches out to grab one of the cargo pods, they want to try to place it in the cargo ships in the middle of the field or into the rocket. 6887 had just placed a panel on their rocket for the Red Alliance. That got them two points. Loading cargo, those orange spherical objects out there on the field. That gets them three, uh, three points apiece for each cargo that they load into the cargo bay. Those are cargo pods. As we see the Blue Alliance loading another cargo pod into the cargo bay, that's 6705, the Wildcat 5E team. As the Mongooses, they're over at the loading zone collecting one of those hatch panels. It'll help keep that cargo in the bays of the rocket and the ships. 6705 on this side of the field, places another cargo pod into the Blue Alliance. Cargo ship, as 6712, tries to do the same. Now we have 74, 51, that's Avenger Robotics. They're there trying to collect one of those hatch panels from the loading zone. The human players places them on the field. They try to take that hatch panel and place it on the rocket or place it on to the cargo ship in the middle of the field. That hatch panel can gain them two valuable points. S6712, that's the Mountaineers. Place a cargo into the cargo bay. They're trying to put as much cargo as they can in preparation for their flight in the destination deep space sponsored by the Boeing Company. It's 27 to 14 as we're now under 30 seconds left to go in the match. Still a lot of time for scoring and a lot of opportunity, a lot of action out there on the field. As we're now down to the end game, 68-87 moves up onto the lower half zone and backs off as all three bots for the Blue Alliance climb into the half zone. They want to get into the half zone and ready as 68-87 tries to get up onto the second level, which will get them six points if they can successfully do that. And we come to the end of the successfully supported by the half platforms in order to gain those valuable points. 68-87, the Dalton Catabots team. They tried to make it up onto the second level. That would have given them six points if they could have gotten their robot up. We'll let the referees make that determination as we're now in a holding pattern, waiting to make sure that everything is secure and ready to go as they get ready to launch in the deep space. And we've been given to go watch the screen. We'll see the rockets take off. It looks like the Blue Alliance with a little more. 36 to 28. Oh, the Blue Alliance gaining two ranking points, which will be valuable come the end of the qualifying matches tomorrow morning.